we asked Professor Awad Hanna of the University of Wisconsin-Madison to discuss his proposal to study the impact of overtime on efficiency and profitability. Electrician works overtime. They get fatigued, they get tired, and their productivity starts declining. The question that I'm proposing is how much productivity you get out of overtime. So if a worker works at 510 or 610 or 710, how much loss of productivity that this worker experienced because of working seven days, 10 hours a day, or six days, 10 hours a day. So overtime is not only that you pay it time and a half, but you also, you are not producing as much because of the fatigue issue and because of another phenomena called pacing. Workers tend to pace themselves, tend to slow down, uh, intuitively actually, because they know it's a long work day and uh, they kind of slow down because it's 10 hours work a day or 12 hours work a day. So the contractor is not getting as much production from overtime as the 10 hours or the 12 hours worth of overtime. How will the, the results of this current project, uh, this, this current research, help the contractor? Basically, if you have a situation, an owner, a big owner like Intel or something, they come to you and say, I need to hit the market quickly. I need to finish my project quickly because if somebody else beat me, my product will not be known. So I need to accelerate the schedule. I need you to put my, your workers on an overtime schedule so I can finish my, my job early and I can start getting, making money from my business. So the contractor knowingly or unknowingly, they put their worker on a 610 schedule or 710 schedule sometimes without knowing that you will not be able to get 10 hours worth of production. In fact, you work 10 hours, probably you're going to get 7 hours worth of production. And if you keep working over time for a long period of time, the 10 hours would be only 5 hours worth of production. So we're going to look at the impact of different scheduling scheme on uh, labor productivity. What's the uh, biggest challenge or the most difficult part of this project? In my general work, the challenge always getting the data. Unfortunately, many electrical contractors in this country, they don't have production data. They don't collect the production data. Only very few of them that they can provide me with data. For me to conduct any scientific study, I have to rely on data. I have to look at a worker who can put 100 linear feet of conduit in uh, X number of hours, on the regular schedule and that same worker will will only put 60 linear feet of conduit on the overtime schedule. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. What we will do basically is to visit contractor in their shop, look at their computer files and try to be more aggressive to get our data because you cannot conduct any scientific study unless you get the right data to do the study.